Nintendo has created some of the world's most beloved video game characters ever. Since its first release of Super Mario in 1985, Nintendo's Super Mario franchise has become the best-selling game series in history, selling nearly 310 million copies of the game Super Mario. Since the world of Super Mario was created, we have become familiar with the brother team of Mario and Luigi and their companions such as Yoshi and the lovely Princess Peach. But today, I want to talk specifically about the most well-known and infamous villain in the Super Mario franchise, Bowser. Bowser, or King Koopa, is known for his devious planning and constant attempts at kidnapping princesses. His ultimate plan is to rule the Mushroom Kingdom with his army of tortoise-like Koopas following at his clawed feet. Our infamous Bowser is pretty much recognizable anywhere. Not only does he constantly tower over most of the Mushroom Kingdom's inhabitants, but he has large claws, a spiked turtle shell, and a streak of bright red hair. What if I told you that through modern technology, it could be possible to recreate our very own Bowser? Through gene editing tools like CRISPR, scientists are able to remove, insert, and replace certain sequences of DNA, altering an individual's genetic code. Though there are many ethical strings attached, it is thought that this can be used to correct genetic defects, prevent diseases, and even improve crops. Paleontologist Jack Horner is using CRISPR to attempt to create a chickenosaurus. He's already edited chicken embryos to give them less of a beak and more of a snout. Interestingly, CT scans of the edited embryos showed the skull looks more like a cross between a chicken and an alligator. So, let's define what we would need to hypothetically create Bowser. Based on the heights of Mario and other characters, Bowser is thought to be about 8 feet tall, although his height does vary across Nintendo games. He has a spiked shell, sharp claws, his head is adorned with large horns, red hair and eyebrows, and he has a mouthful of sharp teeth. We're looking to see if we can find these traits in the order Testudines, which covers all turtle families, genuses, and species. In order to get the relative size of Bowser, we would need to look at a massive turtle species like the Archelon, an extinct sea turtle that is the largest of its kind to ever be documented. The biggest Archelon turtle was found at 4.5 meters long, 4 meters from flipper to flipper, and was around 2,200 kilograms. Many thought that this turtle was a close relative to the modern leatherback sea turtle, but it was later discovered that the Archelon is in a completely different lineage than any modern day sea turtle. To get Bowser's signature spiked shell, we would need to look to turtles such as a spiny turtle, which is known for the sharp spikes that run down the spine of its shell, or the black knob turtle, which is also known for its protruding spiked shell. Now that we have Bowser's size and shell, now we need his claws. All turtles have claws, but probably the species with the fiercest claws is the African spurred tortoise. In fact, this tortoise has spiny spurred scales all the way up its front legs. As ferocious as it looks, the African spurred tortoise actually has a pleasant temperament and is sometimes kept as a pet. Hopefully giving Bowser these claws doesn't mellow out his personality. Modern day turtles are born with one tooth that they use to escape their egg, called the egg tooth. So how would we give our theoretical Bowser pearly whites? Other closely related reptiles have sharp serrated teeth, but the omnivorous turtles have never seemed to have teeth. So we would probably have to take teeth from what is currently thought to be the earliest turtle ancestor, the Unitosaurus. The Unitosaurus has no shell, but it had nine wide pairs of ribs that overlapped and covered its backside, much like a modern turtle shell. There is some debate as to whether or not it was truly a turtle, but one thing we know for sure is that it had plenty of teeth, like other reptiles. The now extinct turtle species Miolania from Australia was 2.5 meters in length and hosted a set of horns that would sit perfectly atop our Bowser's head. They're shorter and stubbier than Bowser's horns are depicted, but this extinct Australian turtle is the only known turtle with horns. Interestingly, the Miolania turtle has a spiked armored tail. Bowser is sometimes depicted with the spiked tail, especially in more recent games. So we can accredit the Miolania's tail to our hypothetic Bowser. Now, when it comes to Bowser's daring red hair or ability to breathe fire, we are at an impasse. But as far as what genes Bowser is comprised of, we could hypothetically get pretty close to what Bowser really is. 
If an animal such as Bowser was ever created, it would be really interesting to see his affinity for princesses. This is Fake Life Lore. Thanks for watching.